So welcome to part one of my special right triangle videos. In this video we're going to go over a 30-60-90 triangle. And the reason why a 30-60-90 triangle is called a special right triangle is because the length of the longer sides are proportional to the length of the shorter sides. So what do I mean by this? Uh, let's take a look at the length of the shortest side. Uh, we know that the length of the shortest side is always going to be opposite of the 30 degree angle. So let's say that this side, which is the shortest side, opposite of 30, is a length of x. We know in a 30, 60, 90 triangle that if the shortest side has a length of x, uh, the hypotenuse is going to be double that. So we know that the hypotenuse is going to have a length of 2x. So now let's take a look at the side that's opposite of 60 degrees. We know that if, this, if the length of the shortest side has a length of x, then the length of this side opposite 60 degrees is going to be x multiplied by the square root of 3. So this is true for all 30, 60, 90 triangles. Uh, the, the length of the sides are proportional to each other. So we can use this information uh, to solve these special right triangles actually quite easily. So let's get started right away with an example. Alright, so let's get started with a little easier example. Uh, let's say that this angle is 30 degrees, uh, this angle is 60 degrees, and we know that this angle is 90 degrees. And the reason why it's an easy example is because they give us the value uh, that is going to be opposite of the 30 degree angle or the value of the shortest side. And let's say that the length of the shortest side is equal to 2. And like I said before, we know that the length of the shortest side of the triangle is equal to our x. So we know that our x is equal to 2. And like I said before also, we know that the length of the hypotenuse is double the value of x, or equal to 2x. So if our length of the shortest side is 2, our hypotenuse is double that, or 2 times 2, which is 4. So the length of our hypotenuse is equal to 4, and the length of our side that is opposite of the 60 degree angle is equal to our x multiplied by the square root of 3. So our x, which is 2, multiplied by the square root of 3, that is our length of the side that is opposite of our 60 degree angle. So now we have completely uh, solved this, this triangle. Like I said, this was an easier example, so uh, let's go over a little bit harder one. All right, in this example, we are going to be given the length of the side opposite of the 60 degree angle. So let's say that the length of the side opposite of the 60 degree angle uh, is equal to 3. And once again, uh, the length opposite of the 60 degree angle is equal to x multiplied by the square root of 3. So x multiplied by the square root of 3 is equal to our value of the length of that side, which is 3, is equal to 3. All right, so let's solve this equation for x. We can get rid of the square root of 3 by, the, by dividing both sides by the square root of 3. On the left-hand side, the square root of 3s cancel out, and the only thing we have left is x. And on the right-hand side, we have 3 divided by the square root of 3. Our final answer can never have a square root in the de denominator, so I need to rationalize. I'm going to multiply the top and bottom by the square root of 3. And I'm running out of space, so I'm going to finish my work on the bottom. Um, we know that x um, is equal to 3 multiplied by the square root of 3, and on the bottom we have the square root of 3 times the square root of 3, which is just 3. Uh, this can be simplified even further. Our threes cancel out, so we know that our x is equal to the square root of 3. Once again, our x is equal to our shortest side of the triangle, or opposite of the 30 degree angle. So we know that our x is square root of 3, so the side opposite of the 30 degree angle is going to have a length of square root of 3. Now if we know our length of x, we, it's very easy to find our hypotenuse, 
which is just double that, or 2x. So 2 times our x is just 2 times the square root of 3. So now we have completely solved the triangle. Our hypotenuse is 2 times the square root of 3. Our shortest side is the square root of 3. And our side opposite, the 60, is equal to 3. I hope this gave you a better idea on 30, 60, 90 triangles. I will be making a video on 45, 45, 90 triangles as well. So stay tuned, and I will see you in my next one.